kissing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin Will we fight when we fall, then we rise through it all Till we find what we want, then we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you, the last thing Hey everyone, it is Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I am very excited that you clicked on this video. And if you're returning, guys, I love you. You've been waiting for this. You knew this video was coming. I got um, a PR from Madame Glam, and they are located in New York City, I believe. They put out gel polish and I was super happy to receive this in this box and I'll put pictures on the screen they sent me three nail polishes a base coat a top coat a UV light yes all of that for me to review so I got the box probably about a month ago and I've been using it because you guys know when I do reviews I don't leave a stone unturned doesn't happen. So you want to know if it worked, right? Okay. Well, being that I am not a nail tech, I did go to um, cosmetology like 20 years ago, something like that. And I spent a year there, but I switched over to doing makeup artistry. So um, that's how that went. And then um, as far as nails go, like I can do an acrylic nail. It's not going to be perfect, but I can do that. And as far as gels, I really don't have too much experience with gels and gel polish. So <clears throat> I'm just going to be transparent with you in regards to that, but I've watched videos before and I've seen these videos where people put out a one to two minute video on, on really quickly on how they're doing a nail and they don't show you everything. You have to know that because there's no way. I mean, unless you're a professional, you know, you're doing your nails like this, whatever. I don't see it coming out that great, you know, <laughs> but anyhow, so there were so many times I would see these and I'm like, oh, and I'd go and like buy the kit and get home and it didn't, I'm like, well, what am I missing? I did everything that was in the video, but they left out so many steps. So I'm going to go over all of that with you, the steps that I have taken to do my nails and what worked best for me. And I am hoping that this is going to benefit you guys because yeah, all right, we can go get our nails done right now. You know, it's kind of hard with COVID and other things. Do you really want to sit in front of somebody and get your nails done being that close to them? I don't. So I was looking for alternatives at home and I thought, okay, you know, I'm a mom. I change diapers for a 13 year old. So she has a disability and that's the reason for her incontinence. But it's a matter of I'm constantly changing diapers. My hands are always in dishwater and polish never lasts that long on me. So it's kind of like a downer to do my nails. But I, I'm like, hmm, when it doesn't last. So I was like, yes, let me try this out. There are at least five things that you need to know in order for this system to work for you. It would work great in the hands of a professional because they know what they're doing. I'm not a professional. I'm going to tell you exactly what you would need to do, and I'm going to let you in on some secrets. Are you ready for this? Let's get into it. First, first things first, if you're going to prep your nail for gel polish, you're going to need to take the shine off of it with a regular nail file. Just the shine, and you want to push your cuticles back for sure. And you do not want to use cuticle oil just yet. All right, and definitely don't use it after you apply this. The gel is actually going to be like, it's gonna harden just like it would for acrylic. It's a little bit different. A lot of people say that it's, it's not as harsh on your nails. That's not true. When you soak this stuff off, which you do need to soak it off, it actually will leave your nail um, feeling weak. Just letting you know. All right, so now that we've prepped the nail, okay, we go in with the base coat and you wanna do a very thin layer of this base coat. And then you wanna cure it. Now, I have my nails done, obviously, and when I was doing this, I noticed that you need to put your thumb separate from the rest of your fingers when it's underneath the UV light. Because if you even have, it's 
to the point where your nail is starting to dry, the actual gel could roll over and you would have too much of it on the side of your nail. Now mind you, you gotta put on a thin layer, but at the same time, if you do put too much, you don't wanna end up having that issue. It could get really annoying fast. All right, so now we've got that base coat on. We did our thumb separate from our four fingers and we've got that base coat on. Okay, you're ready for nail polish. They give you three nail polishes. I got a lavender, a pink, and a um, sparkly kind of one. So I put on the nail polish, very thin. You're still gonna see your nail through some of it, but it's supposed to take like two coats, okay? So you go through that and you, you paint your nails, you do your thumb separate, because again, it's gel, it's thick, it's not nail polish, and you cure it. You have to cure before each level. You have to, because it's only going to cure the top layer and it's not gonna penetrate through, so you cannot do your nails all at once not going to happen. So you cure it after your first nail polish. You go back and do the second coat. Again, very thin. Take your time. If it gets on the skin, it's likely to lift. So take it off right away. Go back, cure it. You should at this point now not see the nail through it. And then you can go ahead and put on your top coat. So you put on the top coat, you cure it again, and then it's going to be tacky you're not done. And this is the part that drives me insane because people don't tell you this. You need to have a alcohol solution and a cotton ball next to you because it is dry, but you have to take the tacky layer off. And the reason it's got that tackiness is because the gel polish needs to stick to something. Okay. It's got to. <clears throat> so anyhow, you rub off your nails. You won't rub off your nails. You take the, the rubbing alcohol on a, um, a cotton ball and rub your nail and then boom you're good to go it's dry you can go about your day you, everything so does it last well <clears throat> it did last about a week and a half I got some growth in here but I am not like perfect in applying it so it's something that I need to get used to doing mind you I'm right-handed and my right hand always comes out a little bit more messy because I'm applying the stuff with my left hand and my left hand I can't do squat with. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, so it's going to take me a while to get used to this. Do my nails look perfect? No. Are they wearable? Yes, absolutely. But I do, I did realize that I needed to take those steps and unfortunately I was not given instructions. So if I hadn't looked this up and I hadn't realized what I needed to do or had a little bit of a background knowledge in this, then I probably would have messed up my nails completely. Like I, I love looking at pictures of nails and different things and being able to do it at home and not spend the money is wonderful, but you need to have the time and you need to have the patience in order to do so. So do I recommend this? Yes, if you know what you're doing or if you have the time to sit down with it. Everything that I said in this video is 100% true and is what I have experienced. So if this is something that you are interested in, I've given you all the information that I could possibly think of, including trying it out for an entire month and doing two sets of my nails before making this video. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, put them down in the comments below. I want to take the time to thank Madam Glam for sending this to me. I am super excited to be able to continue to use this product and I will definitely give everybody updates and just really be able to learn how to do this more perfectly each time I go about it. They did give me a code for 30% off for you guys, which is a really decent amount off. So if this is something that you want to try, then definitely I will link their information down below. And if you have any questions at all, I will do my very best to answer them. And I just thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, and I will see you guys really soon in another one. Bye.